Early exposure to common allergens may prove to dramatically reduce their effects. A study reported in the New England Journal of Medicine tested 628 babies and actually um, they were prone to developing certain peanut allergies, but by exposing them early, it showed that it dramatically reduced their risks. So the study actually, Jose, used babies that were four months, I believe, um, that already had signs of certain allergens. And what they did was they exposed them to peanut butter really early, and they said that it reduced um, their effects by 86%, which is crazy. I know I believe that early exposure is really a great opportunity. Do you think that exposing young children that already have signs of allergies to the top eight common allergens is safe? Well, I'm, I'm all about science. And if yeah. they're doing it through you know, medical uh, procedure, I think that they are onto something. I personally believe that mm -hmm. I don't think these allergies came out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. you know, suddenly we, yeah. we see them everywhere, mm -hmm. you know? But yeah. I think that before, you know, early humans, they developed this natural mm -hmm. resistance to these allergies. Yeah. That's not saying that there's no, there's, there's, there's kids out there that, you know, they're deadly allergic to some foods and they're, they're deadly allergic to some uh, substances. But at the same time, I think that, that it, it's, a, it's an organic way of dealing with, with food that you encounter in daily life. You know, if you, from a very young age, mm -hmm. get in, in contact yeah, with it, yeah. you're naturally, your body naturally is going to learn how to deal with it. Yeah, I think, I think it's great to expose them early. And actually, I have a quote here because you touched on mm -hmm. how safe it is, mm -hmm. which is a really good question. I have a quote here from Dr. Andrew Clark. And he is a leading allergy specialist at Addenbrooke's Hospital in Cambridge. Dr. Clark said, and I quote, this could be a turning point in the way that we try to prevent food allergy in the future. It really does prove a principle that it is possible to reduce the prevalence of peanut allergy in early in childhood by feeding infants peanut in a careful and controlled way. So the study was controlled and it was safe, but it does beg the question, you know, are is it the food industry and the you know the drug industry that's really profiting from f making us fearful, fearful? about allergies? Always. Because I if we're so. exposing children early, then we can prevent these allergies according to this study. But you know who's benefiting here? It's obviously the drug and the food companies. You know, it's it's these industries. They're always their their bottom line is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. You know, like if it's there's anything that might hurt their bottom line, mm -hmm. they're gonna fight against it. So yeah. it's 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 important to understand that mm -hmm. the more we let nature take care of these things, the less corporations are gonna profit from it. Mm -hmm. So I I think that this is great. I think that we don't need twelve or thirteen different types of baby formula out yeah. in the market for yeah. kids that are allergic to peanuts and kids that are allergic to gluten and kids that are allergic to this and that. Yeah. The, the top other, eight allergens, you know? You know? Yeah. The other side of the coin is why are we taking so many additives in our food? There's mm -hmm. so many chemicals and, and the and the food chain, the food supply that we get today is is degraded yeah. from organic mm -hmm. whole foods that we mm -hmm. used to eat. Now everything is made in a factory. All the time, you know, yeah. all the meat, all the poultry, everything Everything's that modified. we it's made, yeah. it's, it's made in a, in, a fact, in a production line. Mm -hmm. And because it travels long distances from the place where they pack it to the place where it's consumed, mm -hmm. it has to be washed and it has to be soaked on, on preservatives. All these chemicals are creating some of these allergies, I think. You know, mm -hmm. there's research that, that points into that direction yeah. that the more we eat additives, the more we eat these preservatives, the more our, our body starts identifying foods as, as, you know, as something that the immune system has to fight. Mm -hmm. So I think that the, the fact that the scientists are trying to use natural foods to fight these allergies and to prevent these allergies by developing a natural... Uh, resistance to them or a natural processing of this food is, is amazing. Yeah, I think this is a new turning point in how we approach food, how we approach our exposure to different types of things in our environment. So we want to know from you here at The Lip, do you guys think that it's a good idea to be exposing young children, especially those that are around the age of four months, to some of our top eight allergens, which include wheat, uh, soy, peanuts, tree nuts, shellfish, 
And the last one that I'm missing is eggs and fish as well as milk. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching The Lip TV and subscribe to the channel for more.